Hi, I'm Sean Carruthers, and welcome to How Do I on Butterscotch.com. In this series, we're taking a look at SSD. In this episode specifically, we're going to talk about how to upgrade the SSD drive on your MacBook Air 2010 edition. Now, the new MacBook Airs are a bit of a special case. Unlike the traditional Windows-based notebook, or even the older Mac-based notebooks, it doesn't actually have a discrete SSD drive in the shape of an old hard drive inside. In this case, it just uses something called a module. Now, a module contains all the same components that a regular SSD drive does. It just doesn't have all the packaging to fit into the space that an old hard drive would have vacated. So it allows the SSD module to be a lot smaller than an old school hard drive. Now, what that means is you can't just walk into a store and buy one off the shelf like you could with an SSD designed to replace an old hard drive and fit into the same space. You can order them online, however, and we got ours from Otherworld Computing at MacSales.com. Now, while initially people thought that the SSD drive on the MacBook Air wasn't upgradable, it is, in fact. You can take the old one out and take the new one. In this case, we've got the Mercury Pro Aura Express and just slide it back into the same interface that the old SSD drive came out of. In the past, Apple used something called a Torx screw to fasten the backing plates to the back of the MacBooks. But they try to keep you out of these things for the most part because they don't want you monkeying around inside and wrecking the computer and wrecking your warranty. Now they've switched over to a newer type of screw that is less common and you might have trouble finding the screwdriver for this. It's called a pentalobe. Now in this case, you do get the screwdrivers inside the kit, so you don't have to worry about that so much. Now if you do find a replacement module for the MacBook Air, but you don't have the screwdriver itself, you can order these separately online as well. Now before you start the process of swapping the modules out, because the modules do function like the hard drives, you will want to back up the data from your MacBook Air to an external drive and then copy it over to the new one once you have that installed. Now you can use something like SuperDuper or you can just use Time Machine to back up to an external drive and then pull that information over once you're done. So the first step in the process of course is to power down your MacBook Air and remove it from the power. Then remove the screws all the way around the backing plate of this and keep them in a safe place so you don't lose them. They're very hard to replace. Inside, you'll see a bunch of battery modules and then something that looks like a traditional stick of RAM. This is actually your SSD module. It's secured inside using a single screw with a Torx screw. Remove this screw using the Torx screwdriver that came in the kit or inside another kit that you purchased separately. Lift the SSD module slightly and slide it out sideways. Then you can take your replacement module from Otherworld Computing and then slide it back in. Replace the screw using the Torx screwdriver. Replace the backing plate and then put all the screws back into place. Then flip the MacBook Air over again and fire it up. You'll need to use the USB recovery key that came with your MacBook Air to reinstall the operating system on here. During the installation process, you will come to a point where it asks you if you want to bring over your data from another Mac. At this point in the process, you plug in your external drive that you backed up to using Time Machine or SuperDuper, plug it in, and point the installation to that particular drive. You'll then pull over all your old data, including applications and settings and accounts. And then when the installation is done, you're done, and you have a new SSD drive on board with more capacity to boot. Don't forget to check out the other parts in the series where we show you how to install an SSD drive in a typical notebook computer, and we'll also show you what it is and how to use one externally. For the show notes on this part and the other parts in the series, go over to butterscotch.com.